I would like cry and like really, really worry about like walking out or like letting people see me. 19-year-old Tony Marie Bullinet has been struggling to get clear complexion for six years. At the age of 13, Tony developed acne and through the years it's been a continuous battle trying to get her blemishes under control. She jumped from doctor to doctor, treatment to treatment, desperate for help. I've been through all these topical treatments, I've been through antibiotics. For like a period they worked, but sometimes you know you'd flare up and then I would give up and I just didn't want to deal with it anymore because I wanted the quick fix. New data presented at a recent meeting on clinical pediatrics at the University of California suggests that the lack of treatment efficacy is only one of the reasons that acne therapy often fails in teenagers. Poor adherence also plays a role. There is often a frustration on the part of the teens that they're just not noticing a change fast enough and this leads to a lack of motivation to comply with the prescribed medications and thus treatment failure. Treatments range from laser therapies to a host of topical ointments, but adverse effects of therapy very often will lead patients to abandon their treatment. The topical medicines that we use, they may make the skin dry, they may make the teen feel that their skin is greasy, they may have trouble applying makeup over the topical medicines. To help teens stick to the therapy, speak to the dermatologist about simplifying the regimen and using as few agents as possible. And remember, by using more ointments, you're not necessarily going to improve the result. You're only going to possibly add to the irritation. A pea-sized dollop will usually do the trick to cover the face and apply topical agents to dry skin, waiting 30 minutes after washing. Dr. Chasen emphasizes that acne treatment is not a one-size-fits-all therapy. The key is customizing it to the type of acne that the individual has, listening to them, taking a very good history, understanding where the problems were in their previous treatments and understanding their lifestyle. When you take all those into account, we are very successful in, in bringing their acne finally under control. Yeah, I think so. Tony said that her patience was put to the test, but she's glad she stayed the course and followed through with her acne treatment. You just feel amazing. You, you want to look in the mirror now. You want to like do those things that you kind of missed out on. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.